What's up guys? Uh, we're back today. Right now we're at the gorge down in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Um, today, my friend and I, uh, we are actually going to do a challenge. Um, he made a bunch of bow balls and I'm going to use some wax worms that I bought. And we're going to see who can catch the most panfish or sunfish, depending on where you're at. Um, I'm using a small, super light rod, and he's using a cane pole, and yeah, it should be pretty fun, so hopefully we don't get skunked again. Yesterday was a little iffy, um, but it was fun either way, so let's go. Alright, so we're going to throw on a wax worm on this little chartreuse pinman you can see right there and I just have a bobber set to about two feet right now to start uh, right over here is about 15 foot deep in the water itself so two feet should be pretty decent to start for just panfish at some point today I am going to throw in a bass line see if I can't stir something up but for right now, this is going to be the challenge. I usually don't fish for sunfish that often, so this is something that's out of the norm for me, but I think I'm still okay. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, I am using the dental floss again, and I also have dental floss uh, rigged up on his cane pole as well. So we'll go ahead and see how that works out for the both of us. If you guys watched the previous video, if you could let me know your thoughts on it. I would definitely like some criticism just to improve what I'm doing here. Just to make the videos better for you guys. Either way, I'm going to be having fun doing it. So that's... The only other variable is is viewer opinion. This floss is just fraying in the water right here. It's crazy. This does not feel like a great idea using this floss again. I just feel like I'm going to cast it out one of these times and the bobber's just going to fly off with everything. If that happens, I'm not quite sure what I would actually do. Probably go back up to the car and tie on some normal line, if I have any. Because I think I got rid of all of my small test line. Also, the floss is so slick because of that wax, it's forcing the bobber right down the line. This is crazy. Let's see if I can't wrap it around a couple times. Get it to stay put a little bit better. It's uh, like four. It's not slipping now, so that should work out. As long as it didn't weaken the actual line. But trial and error, I guess. This is actually the Cuyahoga River. It runs all the way up there, like through a big chunk of Ohio. But then it goes down over here, and that's actually the dam, and that's a waterfall. And about a month ago, I actually went down. There's an observation deck that overlooks the falls. And I climbed down the cliff next to the observation deck and fished for smallies down in the river under the dam. And it was it was impressive turning around and just seeing this 70 foot tall waterfall right behind you. Just the sheer power that's right there and if something went wrong it could easily just sweep you down river and well you'd be pretty dead so it was impressive. Oh, that one.
one turned inside out. That is carnage. Look at that. That is... I'm sorry, little dude. I don't like what you turn into, but nothing deserves something like that to happen to him. That's rough. There we go. Oh, I'm on the branch. No. This is, this is bad. This is not a good position right now. I am stuck on this tree. On another branch on the other side. And I guarantee that it hooks in that branch. This blows. I don't know quite what I'm going to do right now. I think I'm going to lose this bobber. Maybe I won't put floss down quite yet. I think I just got everything back. At least the bobber. Yeah, I lost the pinman, but I at least got my bobber back. It's pretty good. So, we're actually on the way back from grabbing lunch. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stop by the golf course again and uh, see if we can get on a couple fish. We were skunked this morning over at Gorge. Um, our challenge didn't go too well. The floss I just gave up on because it's awful. And it just got worse from there and it was really hot. So we're gonna pull in here and see what we can do. Damn it. So like I said, we came back to the golf course. Um, I'm just gonna pitch a jig again. See if I can get any bass to turn up. I don't have too high of expectations right now, but I do feel like um, there's potential maybe. I'm going to start here a couple times, pitch a few times along this little tree line here, and then we're going to head over around the corner. Yeah, the wind caught mine too, and it's in the... Come on. Don't. What'd you do a little dance for? Oh, you want to die? Yeah. Is that yours or mine? Both. Or yours. No, mine. Uh, so is mine. Uh, it's around my face, people. So he flung his, if you missed it, he got his spinner that I just found yesterday stuck up in a tree. It came whipping back, tangled around my head. And then I pulled my jig out of the tree because it got stuck in a tree. This place and me getting jig stuck up in a tree is just not a good situation. And then I yanked that out. And that got tangled around my face. All right, so we made it over here. And yeah, we're going to see if we can get something over here. It's, like I said, I mean, that way leads into a river. That way leads onto the golf course. I feel like if there was bass, they'd be across there because there's a couple down trees uh, and about a lot more cover. Whereas over here, you just have the cover along the shore. Uh, it's also pretty deep in the middle of here. So there's a chance that the bass would just dive a little deeper throughout the day. But, I mean, we'll, we'll give it a shot, see if we can bring something up. Normally I wouldn't come here as often, but I want to try to get as many chances for a fish as possible. That way you guys aren't just spending your time watching a video that's Supposedly a fishing video with a honey fish. So
It's also summer, so it's always it's always pretty rough in the summer anyway. Just based on just weather and temperature. It's also been extremely hot this summer. Not much rain. So that kind of poses another issue because water levels are down a lot everywhere and the water is extremely warm, which means the fish have no choice but to stay deeper for the oxygen. And like I said in the last video, if there's any, any type of critiques that you guys have for me, I will take most of them into account, as long as they're valid. Don't just tell me that I'm ugly and, you know, get a facelift or say I have an awful nose or need to shave or anything like that. Because that's not really constructive criticism. Whereas saying, hey, you know, film more this way or try filming this way or try this bait or this bait. That's, that's a little more constructive and that's something I can actually feasibly do as opposed to, you know, changing my face. Um, but I will take I will take good comments into account. And I definitely want as many good comments as possible because I do want to improve for you guys and for myself. I want to become a decent YouTuber and I want to actually make decent videos because it's something I have fun doing. Even though I'm newer at it, it's, it's very enjoyable for me. The last couple days and editing yesterday's video was I mean, it was time-consuming and it was a mentally painstaking process but it's it's definitely something that I enjoyed even through all that work and I got to bed at you know 2:30 in the morning because I, I was editing a video from about 8 o'clock in the evening till 2:30 well, in the morning with a couple tiny breaks in between um, but it was, it was worth it, and the video turned out fairly well, I think. And I'll let you guys be a better judge of that, but I try to be fairly unbiased when I'm editing and getting as much decent footage as I can out of the content that I filmed. So once again, skunked. Second day in a row. It does not feel... It does not feel very good, but what are you going to do? Um, I mean, a bad day of fishing is still better than a good day at work, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead and call that a day, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.